What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are working on this, I call these monster trucks just because I'm short, uh, but we're working on, on this uh, 2500 uh, Chevy uh, and we are to the exterior wash, but this thing, it is super dirty. Uh, it is a work truck this dirt is literally like stuck onto the paint so in today's video i want to show you guys how i wash these exteriors when they are in this kind of a bad shape so stick around i hope you find this video useful so without further ado let's get started on this video so the name of the game when working on vehicles like this is work harder not smarter um Wait, no, work smarter, <laughs> not harder. Um, and that's the name of the game, right? Uh, and how I go about that, guys, is we're gonna be using, uh, we usually, I usually do a pre-spray when and they are in this type of shape. For today, we're using the Drive Auto Appearance Buzz Down uh, Pro Multi-Purpose Cleaner Concentrate. You can use this on your wheels, on your tires, interiors, exteriors, um, but for today, we are using it for the exterior right and i have it on my uh, max shine sprayer all my pump sprayers are taken at this time so we are going to go with the trigger method and you're going to see here how it looks really quickly while i spray this area here and then i usually start start from the bottom and then work my way up what i have right now is we are at a four to one um dilution ratio and i spray this on everything pretty much from from the tops the pillars to the glass all this is just gonna help me um get through this a little bit quicker right um and you're gonna see really quick how well this this works so after i spray it down i kind of let it dwell a little bit not too long <coughs> obviously today's temperature it is very very nice so it's not like uh, it is like caking in there but i'm gonna show you guys really quick on this right side where i haven't sprayed anything just how hard uh, it is to kind of remove all this embedded dirt on here so right side look at that it removes a little bit but not a lot now check out the side where we just uh, sprayed this product and check it out so it's definitely better um, but what i'll do is usually i will go um, i'll do like two passes of sprays that way I'm able to re really remove all this caked on dirt. All right, after we do the first pass, I mean, I'd say that is way better uh, than sitting there and trying to rinse that whole door off without no help of product or anything like that so i'll go ahead and spray it one more time and just let this product kind of dwell in there again uh, and just do the work and I, i'll spray this everywhere pretty much all right we'll go ahead and spray this side as well that way it can start dwelling and this is going to be really the most effective way um to get these types of vehicles cleaned out with minimal effort uh let the product just do the work i don't do a lot of these um like pre-spraying your like a pre-rinse um i hardly do these only when i have like a scenario like this i'll pull out you know like an apc uh, and do like an APC wash. Mm. 
And there we go. Look at that. All right. Let's go ahead and hit this side. Let's see how well this works. And there you go. It quickly, efficiently, and we just do this through the whole vehicle. Uh, and let me show you guys kind of like the end goal of how this truck should look. Just like that. <laughs> and I haven't even touched it with the agitation brush or nothing. That's strictly APC wash, rinsed off. Uh, and that is pretty, pretty good. All right, now that we've done the whole uh, pre-treatment, now we get to foam it. Uh, and what we're using today is the Max Shine, um, their soap, which is the green gallon. We're just gonna foam it down really nice so it can start working. agitation really quickly the majority of the product has already done the job um, which is the good part is the product pretty much did all the hard labor for you so now we just give it a quick a quick scrub And that's it. Tell you what, having this mitt on a stick has been a lifesaver when working on these big projects like this truck. All right, we've gone ahead and rinsed this whole vehicle already. We foam washed it and everything. And now we are to the drying stage. A secret that some know, some don't know is, I get asked a lot of the times is, Carlos, do you, do you dry every car? And the answer to that is no. The color that I don't dry is white. Uh, the reason behind that is because if you're using a quality soap and you've thoroughly washed this vehicle by hand really well, when it comes to the rinse off, all the dirt, everything should be off. That the drying phase makes it so easy. So usually on white vehicles, you'll only see me dry the glass. I'll clean the windows really well and I will clean the door gems. Everything else, will dry on its own and you'll see uh, once I finish it it's pretty much done um, and if you want I'll show you how it looks on the other side because obviously in the shade you can't really tell but once it's done it pretty much looks like this this is a this is a work truck so there is a lot of contamination on this truck um, we were gonna coat it at one point, but I was like, you know what? Let's not do that because you're strictly using it for work. But once you finish washing it, if you can see the plastic, no staining, nothing like that. The paint is all dry. Obviously you'll see a lot of swirls on it. Um, but the paint is pretty much dry. I have not um, touched the paint other than just the glass. Uh, you see a lot of staining. He goes a lot of off-roading. Uh, so all that mud sticks on there. So maybe at one point, we will do a paint correction on this one. But for now, we strictly wash it. And this whole passenger side has not been uh, dried on the paint. Only the glass. 
only the glass and then what I'll do is with my same towel usually I'll use these towels after I dry it then I'll begin on the door jams really well wiping everything really really nice getting all the way to the bottom on of this and that's pretty much it so for those who have wondered Carlos <laughs> how do you drive white cars I only foam them down I do everything by hand as far as the wash mitt process uh, because the trick to it is making sure that you um, touch everything really really well and then when you rinse it off when you use a very good soap these are the results um, you will have minimal minimal uh, work to do um, so that's how I wash white vehicles but I will conclude the vehicle right here if you watched all the way to the very end thank you so much for watching today's video again today's video was mostly uh, today's video was mostly on how I wash trucks that are in really really bad shape or have a lot of mud or a lot of staining free spraying it using obviously I use the drive auto appearance bust down MPC free spray everything four to one let it dwell and then you come back with your pressure washer and it just makes your process so much easier uh, doing a uh, APC wash helps tremendously as well because you're removing a lot of the contaminants off of the paint so that as you're coming back with your wash mitt process there is really no contamination there's not a lot of dirt which will create less scratching less marring and all that good stuff right so again thank you so much for watching today's video i have some awesome videos hopefully coming up very soon uh, new items that i purchased for black friday so i'm excited for that um, but as always god bless you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next video